Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss urinogenital system of female frog. In our last lecture, we have discussed urinogenital system of male frog. Urinogenital means both systems, urinary and genital. It means excretory and reproductive system. In case of frog, closely associate. And both systems, urinary and genital systems, they collectively constitute a system that is urinogenital system. As in case of male frog, we have discussed excretory system. Like that in case of female frog, the excretory system consists of following parts. A pair of ovaries. These are elongated dark red structures and these kidneys are involved in the formation of urine as in case of each kidney about 2000 structural and functional units are present and these structural and functional units are nephrons or uriniferous tubules we have already discussed in our last lecture. In this excretory system, a pair of ureters. Here, note down, in case of male frog, the ureters, the terminal part of each ureter that becomes swollen. That enlarged terminal part of this ureter in case of male frog is named seminal vesicle that stores spermatozoa. But in case of female frog, these ureters are simple fine tubular structures. These are simple ducts which carry urine. But in case of male frog, these ureters are urinogenital ducts. As in case of male frog, these ureters or urino urinogenital ducts carry urine as well as male discharge. But in case of female frog, these are fine ducts which carry urine only. The next part of this excretory system that is cloaca. We have already discussed this is a common chamber in which rectum opens. In this excretory system opens, these ureters open here as well as the genital, the reproductive system open in this cloacal chamber common chamber and this cloaca opens by a cloacal aperture here excretory system that includes a bilobed urinary bladder which stores urine in case of female reproductive system that consists of a pair of ovaries or down in case of female reproductive system that consists of a pair of ovaries. These are lobulated structures. These are irregular structures and each ovary associates in the upper part of each kidney. It means this ovary remain attached Dear students, note down, ovary gets attached by a membranous fold and this membranous fold very important for all competitive exams, it is mesovarium. This is a membranous fold by which ovary gets attached with the kidney as well as abdominal wall. Note down, in case of male frog male gonads testes and the testes remain attached with this kidney and abdominal wall by another membranous fold that is mesorchium. But in case of female reproductive system, the female gonads, the ovary and the ovary gets attached by this membranous fold that is mesovarium. In the upper region, in this anterior part, these finger-like projections which associate with female gonads, ovaries, and these are fat bodies. 
these are brownish structures finger like projections which store food material and that fat body which stores food material that involves in hibernation during winter sleep the food gets metabolized the second part each ovary these are bilobe these are lobulated irregular structures and each ovary is lined by an epithelium that epithelium is germinal epithelium no doubt ovary is lined by a germinal epithelium that germinal epithelium gives rise ovarian follicles and each ovarian follicle produce an enlarged cell which differs from other cells and that enlarged cell in each ovarian follicle gives rise an ovum no doubt each ovary is lined by germinal epithelium that epithelium gives rise ovarian follicles and in each follicle one cell becomes enlarged and dear students that enlarged cell later on gives rise an ovum it means in ovary the germinal epithelium gives rise ovarian follicles which undergo oogenesis to give rise female gametes ova x the mature ova are released in this abdominal cavity in this body cavity it means the ovarian wall gets ruptured and that produce the mature ova which are laid in this abdominal cavity from this cavity the mature ova are passed into this ovarian funnel that is a part of oviduct the second part of female reproductive system that is oviduct it is egg canal from this abdominal cavity eggs are passed here in this swollen part funnel like structure it is ovarian funnel or it is fallopian funnel through this aperture and this aperture is named ostium no doubt ovary that is lined by germinal epithelium and the epithelium gives rise ovarian follicles in ovarian follicles the process of oogenesis takes place in that process in each ovarian follicle only one cell that gives rise an ova mature ova at that time of discharge this ovarian wall gets ruptured and the mature ova are released in this body cavity from this body cavity the ova are passed in this funnel it is ovarian funnel or fallopian funnel through this aperture it is ostium then the eggs mature ova are passed in this second part of this oviduct it is ovarian tubule this is an elongated highly coiled tubular structure it is ovarian tubule and this ovarian tubule is lined by a glandular epithelium and that epithelium secretes albuminous substance that produce three albuminous jelly coats over each ovum and the last part of this oviduct that is ovi sac here eggs are collected before these are laid in this cloaca and finally the mature ova are passed in fresh water dear students no doubt a mature a mature female that gives rise about 2500 to 3000 eggs at 
एट आए एंड दीज मैच्योर ओवा आर पास फ्रॉम दिस कॉमन चैम्बर क्लो का इन टू फ्रेश वॉटर थ्रू दिस क्लो कल अपर्चर इट मीन्स फर्टिलाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन फ्रेश वॉटर दैट इज एक्सनल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड द डेवलपमेंट दैट इज इन डायरेक्ट एज इन द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ दिस एनिमल फ्रॉक ए लार्वा दैट इज टैडपो लार्वा दैट डेवलप्स विथ विच रिजम्बल्स फिश दैट फिश लाइक लार्वा which respires through gills that is branchial respiration and the tadpole larva that remains in fresh water that respires through gills branchial respiration and dear students the tadpole larva that is herbivorous which feeds on vegetable material in fresh water but the adult frog that is carnivorous which consumes insects this is all about female reproductive system and excretory system of female frog means urinogenital system of female frog dear students in next lecture we will discuss pigeon the digestive system of pigeon thank